Hi, I'm Violet Van Hees and this is Grow Your Movement Freedom. Welcome. Um, so today we're going to look at the power and the gift of being able to be really present in the present moment and what this offers to yourself and to the person or the animal that you might be around or working with or in the same space as uh, in terms of how to find some more ease in the situation and maybe how to find some more freedom to choose something that makes sense right here, right now. So there's lots of times when we tend to get kind of wound up and we sort of feel ourselves getting tightened up in our bodies when we feel ourselves getting a little bit anxious or a little bit worried about something. We tend to sort of get tight and kind of move up in our bodies. And this tends to get us out of the present moment, gets us into worrying about something that might happen or something that used to happen or the story we have going on about what's going on around us or, you know, what was going on for dinner tomorrow night or this friend that you had a conversation with and you're just not here right now. And if you could be present right now, it could bring a different sense of just the moment is open right here is a place where I have a choice about what to do, how to act, how to engage with this. And it kind of opens up this new space or this new freedom to choose what you want and to take an action that actually matches what's really going on right now. So there's this quality of being able to kind of move the clutter out and create a sense or a space of calm readiness, of a place that's ready for action, it's not sort of zen and zoned out, it's really present. And I found that when I'm in that place of being really present, then the person I'm with or the animal I'm with or the situation I'm in really responds to that. It feels different to me, my choice of action feels different, and they seem to respond differently. And for me, being really present, what I love about it is, is I get a sense that I can actually really see the other person. I can say hello to the other person, the other being that I'm with. And when I'm able to kind of see them and say hello in this kind of way, just by being there and saying hi in how I am with them, there's something that opens up. It's like this kindness or the sense of, oh, thank you. Somebody sees me. And it's like there's new space for something to happen in there. And so for me, that has huge power power and potential, power for what could become, what could be created in that space. And I love that. And this for me is really important when I'm working with someone or when I'm working with an animal like a horse. I am much more substantive to them. I'm much more important to them. I'm much more noticeable to them if I'm actually really present rather than if I'm kind of tight or up in my body. And so there's this place when we get into, um, so the story of stuff, we're worried about what's going on in the day, and we tend to sort of get tight. We often go up in the muscles and go into the muscles. And uh, in order to come out of that and to really connect with the ground, I find it's really useful to do something that biomechanically connects me to my bones again, lets me feel the support that's in my body, that's in the bones, and feel the ground, feel the support of the ground, so that I can actually notice that right now, right here, I am on this earth in a well-supported body. And then I can see what's actually happening around me so that they can deal with that rather than with all the other stuff that might be either imagined or anticipated or whatever. I can just see what is. Um, so your tip for today for how to find this, how to, you know, one way in which I found it really helpful to be able to find uh, a way to get present, to be truly present and to kind of just be really here is to do something that uh, Robin Hood, who's a Tellington Touch practitioner and teacher, one of the, Linda Tellington Jones' sister, and her daughter Mandy Pretty, uh, who's a remarkable horsewoman and a rider and Tellington Touch and Connected Riding instructor as well, what they do often. And what I do often when I'm working with animals and with people, which is to breathe out and to settle onto my bones. It's like it takes the tension out of the muscles. I don't have to hold myself up up here. I can sort of let the muscle tension go, I can land in my bones, I can be connected with the ground, and I can be more at ease. And it's a sense of being more at ease physically in my body, and more at ease mentally, and more at ease emotionally. And so if I'm working with a horse who's getting excited, 
I'll do this. And what it is is to, or a person who's getting excited or a situation in which I'm feeling like I'm ramping up, I'll do this. So I might do it every 15 seconds or 30 seconds in a situation that's got a lot of this in it. Uh, maybe not so often if it doesn't, but anytime I'm noticing that I'm kind of tight or kind of up in my head or spiraling into thoughts rather than in the present moment, I can do this. And I find that this now starts to really instantly help me get back into present time. And for you, it may take a little while to do this and feel it and sense what it's like to see if it's okay to come into present time and what it feels like so that it becomes quick. But one of the things you want to check as well is when you settle like this, one of the first things you want to check if you want this to become something that you can go to, a go-to thing for you, is does this feel safe? Because your body's really interested in something that feels safe. And my next video is going to be about what might be going on if when you settle or you calm down, you actually get anxious or you start to spiral up again. But that's another topic, next video. For today, this time, just notice if it's okay to settle and to let yourself come into this, this moment where you're more connected to your body, more connected to the ground, and more connected into present time only, all the other stuff. All the other stuff is kind of clutter that you can push away for a little while and just be in this moment with what's happening right here. So I'm just going to demonstrate this with some horses that uh, are running out here. This is a big open range. They have bells on for that reason, so the bells are a bit noisy. But um, it gives you a sense of what it looks like when I breathe out and settle and then do something with a horse. So I'm on my way out to catch one of the horses that are in the herd that I know, and they're in with another herd of somebody else's. So we'll see what happens here. And this is Ricochet, the black and white one. She's very curious about things. And she's also tends to be, she's also the most green out of all the horses. Ricochet. So she's about seven years old. She's a big girl, very friendly, very curious, and not quite sure about things. So she's more careful with stuff than the so here she is inspecting the camera. Okay. Good girl. You want to see the camera? Let's just do this. Let's see what happens here if I ask you to check this out. And we'll just do it with the... And then she's checking out those guys. Checking out the camera. Halter. Good girl. Good girl. There we go. Good horse. Yeah. Yeah. Good girl. So when she's calmer, once I'm calm, when she's calm, she can lower her head a bit like she's doing now. And she's more at ease. And then we can work together more easily. So there you go, a way to sort of come into the present and see what kind of gift this offers to you, to your way of being in the world, to those around you, to anybody you want to help calm down. If you can get into the calm place first, if you can reset yourself into this place of being in present time, you don't even have to think about it being calm, it's just simply being in present time. And notice, does that help change the experience for the other person you're with, the animal you're with, the situation you're in? And see if it brings more ease for you, physical ease, uh, just ease in the experience. Let me know what you find out. 
Um, I'd love to hear how this is for you. Give me some comments or send me whatever is happening for you. I'm curious to know. And if you'd like more information about this or about what I do, or you'd like to sign up for my newsletter or anything like that, my website information is right below here. Go check there. You'll get my contact info. You can sign up. You can do whatever you want there and, and find out lots more. Thanks very much. Have fun with this and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.